Hello folks and welcome. We are going to be playing Farming Simulator 19 Premium Edition with all of the DLCs on Steam. I also have it on Epic as well with all the DLCs, but we're going to do Steam because Steam allows us to play offline in case something happens with the internet. Okay, so um, now what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be going through here and looking at some stuff, but before we get into that, um, if you noticed, I have a side um, thing for a uh, farming simulator, which I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Um, that way I have a little bit more stability. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. All right, there we go. It's a little bit. And I also have the steering wheel, the foot feeds, and the... Um, steering rest for everything and all that stuff and i've got my beautiful sidekick with us okay he loves he loves riding in the tractors with daddy um and yes guys i'm aware that uh my youtube channel was deleted i deleted that uh for various reasons mainly because of my medical and stuff like that and at the time i wasn't able to create any content and things of that nature and other reasons I deleted it but um, got moved got settled in uh, got a better medical team and medical provider um, and for the past couple of months I've been doing medical therapies for uh, my disabilities and things like that and these therapies had to be done every four hours okay and these therapies could last an hour and 40 minutes to two hours every four hours seven days a week okay so that was very demanding there was just no time to even think about creating videos or anything like that um i still have to do the, the therapies and things of that nature um but instead of every four hours i only have to do them twice a day so one is scheduled for midnight the other is scheduled for 12 noon and that allows me to actually play games now but we're doing this uh, playthrough of Farming Simulator because a friend bought all this and, and sent and, and mailed it to me, which was very nice of them. They've asked to remain anonymous, and we're definitely going to respect that, okay, guys? So don't ask me who sent it and all that. I won't tell you. Now, I also um, deleted, along with my YouTube channel, I also deleted my Discord. Um, I do have a Discord. But it's for personal use only, and I will not be sharing that with anybody. I will not be sharing a Discord with anybody on my YouTube channel and all that stuff. And um, I won't be making as many videos, at least for the future. Um, but, you know, that may change, that may not change. And, and trust me, guys. I really did miss making videos for y'all. Uh, I'm not going to go into details of why I stopped, why I deleted my channel. Majority of y'all wouldn't really know, let alone not really care. But anyhow, um, moving on along. So in order to say thank you for the individual who bought me this, um, in the message, the letter that was in the box it said, Dear Chiefy, that's what they call me chiefy sorry to hear that you're going through everything and things have took a turn for the worst um and i was talking to a few people and they informed me of what i was going through and what all you were um dealing with and stuff like that and i remember last year when you survived the hurricane and stuff you played farming simulator and you first started out with a mouse and keyboard and it was difficult for you to use a mouse and a keyboard and actually guys it is difficult for me because the arthritis in my hands um and also how much you wanted one of these steering wheels for the farming simulator but all you could afford was a xbox controller so i uh, bought this for you and this is an early Christmas present and just wanted to get this for you send it to you and hopefully this cheers you up and it might inspire you to do videos again if you 
can afford to do so or have the time to do so. Um, P.S. Wife and kids say hello and uh, wish you the best of luck and hopefully they can see you on video again. So, but they um, did ask to remain anonymous, so that's why we're doing this video. Also, um, I'm going to be doing uh, some videos with a friend of mine. Uh, we're going to call him Paul. Um, and we spent all last night getting his computer set up as well so that we can be playing co-op together on a farm. But this is going to be for the individual who bought me this um, thing. And I appreciate the, uh, be the best wishes, the warm wishes and stuff like that, guys. That, that means a lot. Thank you. And... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, so we're going to kind of thumb through here and see uh, game steering wheels. Um, yes, uh, head eye tracking. We don't have that, but, um, you know, we can. We can have that if we want that, okay? And um, hardware profile, uh, field of view. Let's kick that up just a little bit. Uh, In-game scale, let's kick that up a little bit. Scale resolution, let's kick that up a little bit. Uh, brightness let's go ahead and turn that down and we're gonna go ahead and apply that okay for right now it'll come back up and we'll apply that okay now we're going to go into the advanced graphics realistic beacons yes um, max shadows let's go ahead and kick that up to 10 uh, max mirrors um, Let's go ahead and kick that up to seven. Uh, shadow mapping, low, nope. Terrain quality, low, nope. Uh, let's go ahead and kick the foliage draw distance up to 170. LOD distance, let's go ahead and kick that up to 200. Uh, object draw distance, let's go ahead and kick that up to 170. Terrain LOD, let's go ahead and kick that up to 180 uh, mass tessellation. Let's go ahead and kick that up to 170 max tire tracks. Let's go ahead and kick that up to Oh, let's do 400. Okay, anything else in here? Um, let's go ahead and apply this Yes Okay Beautiful It's taking its time thinking about things guys. All right beautiful beautiful okay um, now I think that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and take a look at the mods that I have installed I have three mods installed I will pull this up real quick and show you um, installed okay this right here that's not a mod 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 not a mod not a mod and not a mod those are the DLCs but they're installed to the actual game directory of farming simulator but they appear in here as a mod okay now the only two mods that we have or three mods is we have vehicle control add-on I'll explain that in the game I have buy used equipment in the uh, shop I'll show that in the game as well and then real mower I'll show that in the game as well now real mower if you look in the picture right here when you bush haul grass there's some bushes and shrubbery and hedges that you can't in flowers that you can't bush hog well what real mower does is it allows the bush hog to bush hog those things because in reality in real life you can actually bush hog those things with a bush hog okay you can bush hog tree saplings up to like two inches thick you know which is that's, that's pretty thick uh, to give you an idea uh, you know that's that's roughly that's that's my mouse to give you an idea of how thick that is so that adds more immersiveness to the game okay so other than those three mods, that is the only three mods that we're going to be playing with, okay, guys? And I've got over a thousand different mods and stuff, beautiful mods, but we're going to kind of keep things as, as standard game as we can, okay? And what we're going to do is 
go over those mods in the game. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start a new career. Okay? Um, now we've got three options. Um, new farmer, you already own land and some equipment in Ravenport. We'll teach you how to play Farm Simulator. That's certainly one. Okay. Then option two, farm manager. You start with substantial funds, but no land, no bills, no equipment. It's up to you to decide what your farm will look like. Okay. Certainly a good option. But we're going to go with option three. We're going to start from scratch. Why? Because that's just the way we roll. Okay, now we got three maps. Uh, Ravenport, Felsbrunn, and Ellingrad. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to start with Ravenport. It's literally the tutorial map. We're going to start with that. Okay, guys? We're going to continue. Chief's looking spiffy with his shades, his hat. Oh, yeah. Sunglasses. Looking good. Purple shirt. Okay. Now, here's, once again, this is a DLC. 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 Mod. Buy used equipment. Beautiful mod. Grim Pack. That's a DLC. John Deere Cotton Pack. DLC. Real Mower. That is a mod. It allows you to mow things that you normally wouldn't be able to bush hog in the game. Beautiful mod. Vehicle Control uh, add-on. That gives you some more immersive immersiveness in the game um, it allows you to set up manual shifting and things of that nature forward and reverse uh, which I'll explain and show that to you in the game so we're going to select all those beautiful bad boys and without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started okay now what I will do is I will look at the clock over here I'm eyeballing the clock folks oh I'm looking at it and as soon as the um, game loads into the game and we're in the game um, I will go ahead and start the clock and we will try to stream for or record this video for a, a good solid hour give or take okay you only have enough money to start a small farm okay so we're gonna start a small farm okay now let's see where we are on the map okay we are down here okay well, that's all fine and good. Okay, we're down here. That's all fine and good. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, I don't even know how much money I've got. How much money that I've got. $500,000. Okay. Okay. Do I own any land? I don't own nothing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy this piece of property. Okay. All right, now I own that property, okay? And that's that's pretty much the property right there, okay, beautiful. But I've got to buy some tractors, okay? So I know uh, which tractor was it? Baltra. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, Baltra because it allows us to, and literally this is the only one that allows us to put a uh, front end attachment on it. Okay, we're going to buy it new, or I'm sorry, used. Actually, we're not going to buy Jack Diddley, guys, because guess what? We only have $137, but that's what we're going to come after. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we got for small tractors. Okay. Small tractor. Now, this is a beautiful little piece of machinery. Okay, we can go ahead and do a, an attachment loader also. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to buy this bad boy used. Okay. We're going to spiffy up some colors. Got to get the Chief's colors. Got to get the Chief's rims. There we go, guys. All right. Because we're going to need a tractor, okay? We're going to just need a tractor. Okay, we're going to go ahead and buy that bad boy. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to buy a... Um, 
we're going to go into um, uh, bailing technology. There we go. We're going to buy this little rinkity dinkity uh, thing. But before we go excited, we're going to look for this lovely bad boy right here. We are going to buy this. We're going to buy it used. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Then we're going to buy a um, baler. Let's see. So we've got four hundred and forty-nine dollars or thousand forty-nine thousand. Can we do it? No, we cannot buy the baler yet. So what we got to do, folks? We got to go in here. And as soon as I find it, let's go ahead and bar. Let's bar. Let's go ahead and bar a hundred thou, yeah? We ain't even started the game yet and we're already in debt. Let's go ahead and uh, set inside our vehicle while we do this. Okay. All right, now I said that we needed to buy a baler. Okay, we're gonna buy us a baler. We're gonna buy us just a little cheap baler. Okay. Let me get that bug. Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna get used. <laughs> okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now, also what we're gonna buy is we're gonna buy a, um, is it a tether? Uh, actually, no, it's wind hours. That's what we're going to buy is a wind hour. Okay. Now we're going to get a uh, one of these red ones because we want to keep our stuff kind of looking the same. Okay. All right. And now, most importantly, guys, most importantly, we need some bush hogs. Okay. Now, I've played with various bush hogs and stuff like that, you know, all fine and good, but these two bush hogs are my favorite, okay, they're, they're, they're just my absolute favorite, so we're going to get a couple uh, used ones, okay, that one, and then we're going to get this one as well, okay, because what that does is that will, um, uh, well, I'll show you how it all works. Um, but I don't think that my tractor is going to be powerful enough for it. But what we will do is go ahead and get started. Um, see, we don't have a... Um, we don't have a front hitch on this little tractor right here where we hook the bush hog on it. Okay, so we have to do. Uh, yeah, we might end up having to get. We might end up having to get a loan because I don't think that this little tractor is going to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is, that's not going to work, guys. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. We, we got this. Check this out. Check this out. Okay, we'll go ahead and shut that off. We're going We're going to have to get the um, uh, other tractor. So let's go ahead and kick this up to... Um, we're going to have to buy that uh, other tractor, the, um, the medium one. Which we're going with the Voltra. So that's 175. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get us the money. Well, actually, you know what? We can buy it new. Uh, let's see what it, what she cost us new. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the rims. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, factory new. We don't really care about the engine yet. All right. 
143,000, beautiful. Okay. Now, um, we will go ahead and get some forks for this. Okay. Yes, we'll go ahead and get a fork attachment for this. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, ah, let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, shit. I did not mean to get that, uh, uh, I meant to get it used, guys. Used gives you a discount on things, okay? Obviously, you have to repair some stuff, too, but, uh, but now we're not going to, well, let's see here. If we can put all three bush hogs on the back, and we can put, okay, yeah, because now I've got the uh, task of hauling all this to the farm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this tractor will actually um, carry all the uh, equipment. Well, most of it but I can put the three bush hogs on back right here actually got the wrong mower um, I forgot that I had to mix uh, the mowers or something And, well, we can't. Oh, well. All right, not a problem. All is not lost. Okay, we'll have to come back and get the... Well, we can put the forks on the uh, other tractor. Okay, that mower has to go on the front of the tractor. That's not a problem. Okay, yeah, there's another mower that you can put it on. Uh, not a problem. Okay, because we're going to need this mower. <coughs> All right. Now we're going to go ahead and go to this little tractor. Okay. Did I get the? No, I did not get the front end attachment for this little tractor. So apparently, I'm not going to be able to put a front end attachment on this. All right, not a problem. Yeah, it'll it'll tell me here in just a second. Yeah. Yep, nope. Not a problem. It happens, guys. It happens. It happens. Right, but, I can definitely pull some trailers with this little tractor. And the baler. Okay, yeah, because i got to get all this stuff to the farm. Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright. Let's go ahead and take this to the farm. 
this little bad boy right here, this is going to bail all my hay up. Beep, beep, coming through. Okay. So, this episode might be just moving equipment around. <laughs> That's all good, because we'll, we'll go ahead and record until 7. 7. Right. Straight. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, and the mods, that uh, one mod, the steering vehicle control add-on, if you notice, whenever I turn the steering wheel, all I'm doing is turning the steering wheel, I look the direction that I'm turning, uh, which you can't really see it right at the moment too well because, uh, I'm going to get that out of the way. Um, the name of the mod is uh, vehicle control add-on. <clears throat> what that does is that allows me, if you look, uh, you see a white arrow above the 14 miles an hour, 15 mile an hour, just up under that. Now if you watch, I'm going to push this button, the arrow goes backwards, I go backwards, the camera view turns around, okay? It allows you to have forward and reverse gears without using your foot feeds, and I'm literally holding the gas, this is the gas, the gas only, see? And it, I can slam it in reverse, so that's more immersiveness, more realism and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and scoot my uh, thing up a little bit closer. There we go. Alright. There we go. We're all scooted up now. Now we're ready to do some farming, guys. It's my keyboard right here. It's my control deck. Okay. Uh, we're almost to the farm. We're going to go in the front way. That's the back way. The little road to the right right there. That's the back way. Okay. So here's my fields, which I have three of them. Here's my farm area right down here. Okay. Beautiful. Now I haven't put nothing out here yet. That looks like that might be some cotton. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be cotton, guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, disconnect that. We're going to run back to the thing and we're going to get the baler. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no. Yeah, we're going to get the baler. <coughs> okay. We got to start paying some money back, guys. We got to start paying some money back. Wicks, you know what? Hold up. Let's see something real quick. While I'm thinking about it, uh, let's go ahead and repair that for a thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and repair this for six hundred six dollars. Go ahead and uh, repair this for three hundred. Let's go ahead and repair the equipment. Yes, let's just do that while I'm thinking about it. Okay, while we have the money. Okay, because I'm not sure, um, $642, okay, we're going to go ahead and repair everything, okay, pretty them all back up, alright, so everything's repaired, alright, beautiful, <clears throat> definitely want to repair our things, guys, alright, and I can also set cruise control. There's cruise control. This is set for 64, or 26, I'm sorry, not 64. Okay, uh, now we need to get the, it's like a little rake thing. What it does is it rakes up the uh, brush and stuff like that and puts it in the line so you can come bail it a lot easier. Okay, now we do have some crops. Um, the looks of it, it looks like we have some cotton. So we're going to have to take uh, and buy us a harvester for cotton, uh, or lease us a harvester. We might have to uh, borrow some more money to get this show started, or we may can do some jobs with the tractors that we've got now. Uh, we'll, we'll figure something out, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll get us a plan together now. We're just, we're just now getting started. Uh, but yeah, we'll get us a, a plan get us a direction to go. So let's go ahead and focus on getting all of our equipment to the farm first. Uh, let's see here. Alright. 
now. This is our baler. Yeah, our equipment's dirty, needs a wash. It's, it's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. It, it can get a little dirty. It's farmer quick. You know. <laughs> we'll get all that stuff all nice and squared away later on. And then uh, I will run up there and get the uh, uh, that trailer. That trailer's an automatic baler. That's uh, what that trailer is. Very beautiful uh, piece of equipment. It automatically bails things. But we went ahead and got us a fork and stuff like that for the uh, tractor because if you're going to have a tractor like that, you definitely need a front end loader on that said tractor to uh, be able to move things, pallets, or, or you may just want to move the hay bales yourself, stack them out of the way or something. You, you never know, you know. So, but bush hogging, we definitely want the bush hogging because we got to bush hog our place, get it all nice and uh, prettied up and all that good stuff. Because yeah, we got some stuff that we need to cut. <laughs> okay. But right now we're just getting all of our beautiful, beautiful equipment to the uh, uh, farm over here real quick. We're just parking it there. Uh, we might go ahead and just bush hog everything down and just make bales of hay on everything. I mean, we've got to clean this place up, guys. Look at this. This is just, this is unacceptable, okay? We cannot have this. Fence all tore up and all that stuff. We'll, 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 we'll get it sorted out, folks. We will get it sorted out. Might haul in some rock. Well, we'll have to do that in the we'll edit farm mode and all that stuff. <clears throat> so, no worries. We got this. We got this. Uh, we got this. All right. But what I am going to do, though, guys, is I'm going to pause the stream real quick. I'm going to go get me a refill of coffee. Got to have coffee.